Yeah. No, otherwise you have to wait for it to go to Yeah. Hello, this is not a spring chicken. Today we're going to be making pumpkin pie bars. Now, of course, we cannot make anything well quite like you would expect. Um, and we would show, love to show you boxes and all things like that, but I guess we can't show you those boxes anymore. But we'll tell you it's a pumpkin pie bar, but it doesn't make any difference because we're changing the recipe totally anyway. We're using it as a base. Well, it says you, you said do not make in a microwave. Oh, yeah. It's one of those things that, yeah. That, that's one of the reasons why they don't like you showing their products because they specifically say don't do something and then we turn around and do it. And, of course, we do it. Of course. So, it, uh, that's because we're like a big kid, right? Yeah, we do it anyway. And there's a reason why we're doing this instead of we actually we, we've been looking for two weeks to get materials to cook, you know, from scratch. Well, we were gonna show you a pumpkin pie in the microwave, which actually we've done before, and this is really very difficult to do. But the challenge is, is it's hard to sit there and show people how to do it when it's gonna cost you more to make it than it would. To buy it, we can tell and you, you can buy it for quite a bit less than you can make it. Uh, one can of pumpkin pie mix filling at the moment is more money than we've got wrapped up over there right now. Oh yeah, well actually we'll tell you here in the United States it's three dollars and ninety nine cents on sale. Yes, for the pumpkin pie filling. And that doesn't Does count include, crust. Yeah. And then you still have to buy the eggs and the butter and all the milk and stuff. So this right here is the, the crumb crust. If you happen to have a graham cracker crust already pre-made, it makes it really easy. So yeah. you just buy the graham cracker crust. Or you can take graham crackers and crush them all up and make your own. Or you can do like, um, my mother used to, she was in the restaurant industry, she would save all the broken cookies. Oh, did she? And then we would put them in a food processor and chew the cookies up mm -hmm. and then make a cookie, we'd make cookie crust, you know, um, that way, and it, you know, it came out really neat because you really had, that. you never really know what type of cookie you're going to have, you know. Oh, yeah, and it does, we've made cookie, uh, I mean, well, cookie yeah, crust. We've done it, yeah. Of cookies, and they're good. So here, first of all, oh, what are we supposed to add to this next? I got the crust mix right here. Yeah. I mean, and then we need... We got, a, actually, we need, we need seven... Uh, yeah, well, actually, we need We're going to pour this in here. Yeah, okay. This is half a cup of water. Yeah. We want this container. We need the container. We're going to do all the, the melting of our butter. we got two different types of butter right now, which is going to be, which is basically blowing the recipe. Well, yeah, we, we were changing it because I actually wanted to get butter, and I saw this, and I wanted this, and I thought we got the butter, but we didn't get the butter. She didn't tell me. She, you know, <laughs> she, she told me. She handed me. She put the butter back and said, get two of those, so I got two of those. <laughs> so I wanted all of them. So guess what we're doing? We're changing the recipe as we do anyway. So this is country crock pumpkin spice. Yeah. So this is actually a like a margarine. Yeah. With pumpkin spice and it smells really good. Yeah. And the other is hot buttered hot hot, hot buttered butter. rum batter. Yeah. And it's from Trader Vic's. It's it says tasty with bourbon or brandy. Yeah. Well, I know we <laughs> know that. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> but it, it, uh, we use it for seasoning. Uh, things with it's, the wheat. It's utterly fabulous. It has brown sugar, buttercream, salt in it. Yeah, and what That's we it. do is we pick it up when it's, it's on sale because it's got awful too expensive unless it's not on sale. But we're going to use three and a half of each one to make up, make we're, the we seven. We are actually doing three and a half of each one? Yeah. Okay, because I'm going to have to. I know. Is this hot butter rum? I know. So it's got to be busted up. So. Yeah. Yeah, you know, mostly just you can figure out. So if you just got to get it softer, we got it soft, softer. I, I don't know. I, you, know, you just what? cannot buy teeth over the internet. You cannot what? You can't buy teeth over the internet. You got to go to a dentist. Well, see, like that's close enough. Yeah, no, it's got it's, it's because okay, this we're, we essentially changed the recipe entirely. Anyway, it doesn't, yeah, make, it doesn't make any difference, right? So you know, you can kind of tell when you're cooking. About we're we're using stuff that we already have to go along with. The, I think we might have three and a half there. Well, we do have. This I, is three. I, you know, I, I saw you push stuff down. Oh, that might. So let's just leave it at that. This stuff is so good. I love it. 
<laughs> we, now we use it for cooking. We trainer, do use it. Trainer Vix. This is this is really good. I think she's got like three or four more. Well, when I find them on sale, I, I just buy all of them. Yeah, we do buy all of them. We, we, we passed on one today because somebody had opened it. So. And okay. there's a one. So, you know, I thought we just had something we were using a second ago to squeeze things out. We're going to have to do this. Yeah, I was using... So what you do is you use the back end of the fork. Well, I could. Okay, I'm just back to the fork. Okay, dirty. We are a green show, folks. Okay. See? One. One scoop. See, and see how exact that is? Yeah, I, I think when you get to your third one, you're going to have three and a half. You think so? I would guess so. Okay, we'll make it a generous third one then. <laughs> yeah, <that's exactly laughs> I know. That was like well, uh, more than... Okay, and then you just sit there and let it... Go set it somewhere and just let it... We'll use, let it get soft and we'll just add it to whatever else we're doing. So, well, we need to add it to that. Can we, shall we no, but when microwave? it gets warmer, when it gives a set of warm up... And so now we just got to warm this up a bit. Put it on for like 30 oh, seconds. We're putting, I thought I was going to put it in the, the lights. No. <laughs> that put it on the, the camera light. No, just put it in the uh, a microwave for about 30 seconds on high. Which is what everybody can replicate. Yeah. The microwave. The microwave. This is, if you watch what we're doing, you'll see what not to do. <laughs> no. Well, as you, as you see, as I change things, as we go, it tells me, no, no, you're supposed to do this. Okay, there are no recipes for this on the microwave. Like, there's a guesstimate that I can do. The guesstimate is far less than cooking it in the oven, though. So you can watch us do it and watch how we make making changes yeah. and, you and have see to, how it applies. You have to adjust it for your microwave. This is a, this is an older semi-commercial microwave, and it was it, 1,100 watts? Well, 1,000. 1,000, so everything is going to have to go a little bit more, I think. No, it's melting. Okay, then. It's, it's what are you dark. doing now? So you're getting more stuff out. Well, just in case. You know, use the, you know, use the back end of the fork. Again? Yeah. Okay, see. I, I am from the right. But restaurant. I like it dirty. I, I know, but I think we're trying to keep as many dishes as possibly clean. We've already got stuff on that one anyway, so. Okay. Then, oh, wait, I'm not supposed to pour that whole thing in there, even though. No, I'm just set the thing in the glass of water now. Oh, yeah, because we're going to be using this water yeah, anyway. Yeah, just set it in the back end of the water. Same as you can, so now we're going to, we put half of, the, we put about, ooh, a little less than half into the crust now. Because we need some for the filling, or do we just do two tablespoons? Then use the tablespoon, but just put uh, like three, three in. I think this was a three, isn't it? Uh, I think it's two. Yeah, I think it's three, I guess. Uh, for the three, three. It's the three. Crust? Yeah, three. Okay. Uno. Now just put that in the water now. Oh. See how we do it? Because it's all going in the same thing eventually. Isn't that neat? Now we just mix it. We, um, uh, you want me to use a fork? No. The other side's all messy though. I mean, I don't want to really you can use a fork. You know, use the back end of the fork and stir with it. Yeah. Stir with that? Yeah. We're showing you what you can do and not mess up a lot of utensils in the process. Because remember, the water you put it back in is going to be used for the next thing. It's got to need the same ingredients that are going in over there, That's folks. That's true. So, okay. Um, am I supposed to add anything else to this crust? Uh, let's see. Add three tablespoons melted butter and margarine. And stir with a fork until moistened. You see? You know what it says? Isn't that amazing? It says stir with the fork until moistened. Imagine that. So. It does not look like it's moist fast enough. Okay, then take a tablespoon of water and add to it. Oh, actually, I'll do it this way. I know. Tablespoon of water? Yeah. Okay. We're readjusting a recipe. Because there wasn't enough liquid for it to... I know, but we did, but see... Uh, remember, re not the recipes are not always right from the box either, which is you're better to be a little drier than you are to be a little wet. You can't. Because you can it. always add more water. But you can't get it drier. Well, what did you add? Flour. You would add flour to it. Yeah. Okay. I think. 
it's still kind of okay. I think I Actually, what to do is take a little bit in your fingers and see if you can make a little ball. I said a little bit in your fingers. Is no, it's that not so. They had another. Um, okay, that that looks pretty good then, didn't it? Okay, does that work? Well, that, okay. That, yeah. Did, okay. Put right. salt to that. I'm just dumping in here. Yep. Okay. That's all. That's the whole bit now. Because what will happen when it gets hot, the butter that's in it will um, seep down through it. So. One of the things that you're going to notice is we did not spray this. There's a lot a, of times if you're putting it in the oven, you're supposed to spray it. Yeah, but if, if you do it though, it percolates up through the bottom of your crust. So that's your whole thing. So you want the crust not to be too oily. And if you do it, if you put the, the flour on the bottom, it's also going to have another barrier that you got to cook through. So I can tell it's the heat where I touch it. Yeah. You can see. I you know she's never going to make it making. What? Hey, what you do? You up high. I can see from here next to the camera. You're up high on one side and not as high. Well, as I know it's not quite as high on the other side. It'll get there. What you do is you go from the center out, you know, so it's working. See, now it's getting better. Okay, I mean, she's played with as much as she wants to play okay. with it. Then you put it in the, the microwave on high for, put it in for... Um, microwave on high like this? Microwave on high like that. Okay, for how long? Uh, it's probably a minute and a half on high. Okay. So, you know, like I said, she's, she's not, she, basically she cooks like you do, folks. The crust didn't go up all this way on both sides, so... Just like you would. Okay. Meanwhile. No. I think I'm just now we dump everything else in. Okay. Just don't don't worry about it because it's all going to end up in the same stomach. Okay. So. But now it's going. So to this come. is the filling stuff. Yeah. This is the filling. Make the bar. Yeah, and that um, uh, we mix. Uh, now we'll mix our uh, uh, water. Water. Yep. Water. And eggs. You got two eggs? Yeah. Two eggs. Hey, she hit Yay. it. Yay! I know. She can she do it again? Yay, Yay. dead center. I did it over this cup, so now I can pour the rest of the Yeah, I know. Now we want to do is to uh, stir it. A little, you see, okay. and then then we'll add our butter to it. Ooh. You see what you want, even though their recipe calls for this first and the crust second, we thought we would cut time by doing the crust first and the well, second. We, right, because right now, if we had done it, then we would need two containers. Yeah. Right, because we would have had to done the mix first beforehand. Yeah. I know. So this way, the crust is sitting there done. Yeah. We're mixing it in the same container, getting some of the bread. And then all we do is we just check your crust and see how it feels to touch, and just set that I'm over just there. Because yeah. we're going to use that anyway. That's right. Oh, yeah. How does it feel? It feels good. Okay, it's then probably good. give it another another minute then. One minute. Yep. So, so meanwhile, I'm mixing this. Now so you I just dump you, all this or just grab right. it? Yeah. What you do is it how thin is it? Um, melt of butter until smooth, it says. So. It's smooth right now. Okay, then just add your butter to it. And that's basically it, folks. Oh. We've never done this before, so we really don't quite know how this got to come up. Can we try it? Yeah. You see how it changes? Okay, um... And you notice we, we made some changes along the way because... Okay, and then we're going to actually need a little wisp that we do have. We do? We got one. I bought one. We have to find it. So, we do have a wisp over there somewhere. Because we got a fluffer next. Okay, see how see everything that you use is sitting right in front of you for cooking? Mm -hmm. I do have a wisp. A, a little, little one? Like that? 
Uh, that works. Okay. It's not as big one, but it doesn't make any difference. It's a, I did buy one, but somebody... Uh, this is the baking one. That's the one. That's okay. the one. That, I know, so. We have to hide some of the utensils. People steal them. Well, and they are, absolutely. They uh, the, we, your specialty ones. Yeah. So now we just whisk it for. Um, uh, oh, and this is heavy. It's not too. I mean, it's fluid, but it's a heavy fluid. Yeah, because you have to whisk it until it's done. So, and. Um, it looks like it's ready. It's pretty smooth. Yeah, I just uh, whisk it, and, uh, and and when you feel like it's ready after you whisk like it. Looks like it's pretty. Okay, just uh, whisk filling with basically go really at it for a, you know, for just just go at it for like a, a, a turn. Okay, uh, give you'll us, tell you'll tell me when to stop. Give it thirty seconds more on the microwave on heating the thing because I need it warm when it comes out. Okay. And when that's done, that's gonna be your. Okay, now just whisk really hard until it comes out for 30 seconds. And what you do, that's really good butter over there. If you want to use that butter for some, the, the mixture, you can basically make, you know, add milk to it and make something to drink. Oh, this is really good. If you have yeah. something you want to dip in this. Yeah, I wouldn't waste that. I would use Don't that. Don't waste this. Or put some water in there, right, for tea. Yeah, or, uh, yeah, you can use it to... You could just hot the water up in it with tea in it, and you've got nice sugared, naturally sugared stuff. <laughs> it's gotta be hot, big stuff. So, oh, I know what. We'll what? put the eggnog in it that we got in a few minutes. Ooh, we'll that some, would be good. Okay, now I'll take your. Make certain you got your little gloves on, because it's gonna be hot. This is gonna be hot. Yeah. We already know it. Okay. I know. Now we just pour the mixture in. Isn't that something? We, we, we forgot to put our cutting board down, if we always do. Somebody all forgot. Oh, well, you know, I was thinking. Well, we weren't expecting to do this today, so. Oh, yeah. I know. And you just whisk it all out. See, it came, isn't that amazing? It came out exactly like it's supposed to in the container. Oh, yeah, this is nice. And, um,. This is real nice. Okay. It basically, um, uh, it, it's not exactly the pumpkin pie bar like you would think. This is more like a pumpkin pie pie. <laughs> it, it is more like a pumpkin pie pie, doesn't it? Yeah. So we sort of changed the bar recipe a bit, which they probably wouldn't be happy with us for doing. Would we do something like that? Yeah. Well, what they're using is a square pan. We don't have square nine-inch pans. So. Well, so we're using a round pie pan. That's this right. We have. So, um, so now we just um, put the thing in, put it okay. on high for two and a half minutes. And this is a real simple thing because it's the same as if you were cooking it in an oven. All you do is check the center of it to see when it's finished, and that's. Um, oh really? Yeah. So. Okay. So we're only doing it for two and a half minutes because we didn't check it after that time. Yeah. And because... Did you put it on high? Yeah. Okay. And because now we'll the pie shell was already hot. Yeah. So no, the, the, the has to be into a warm pie shell is what it requires. Oh. So we're going to see how this looks. We'll Very cut away and clean up and then come back. This tastes good. Hmm. Yeah, she's, she's stretching before she eats a little while. But. What? Yeah, so. The food goes down, down better. Yeah. Right? Right. But uh, we, we mixed some, a little bit of warm milk in with uh, the stuff that we had left in the dill. And now we've got something really nice to add to something else. We've already cooked the, um, the pie for two and a half minutes and it's solidifying on the sides. Now as you can check and see how it's. It's got to cook in the center. That smells good. You know, you could just warm that up and have warm milk. That's what I mean. It's got to be really good warm milk. Or if you got a, if you got something Ooh. like uh, oatmeal or something like that. So it looks really good. It, it looks like it needs to be done some more, but it looks good. But it's cooking from the outside towards the center, I mm -hmm. think. So we'll put it in. Because I, I know you, you basically are very careful on this. Now we put it in for another minute on high. Okay. 
Oh no, because I'm, I'm, it says, I'm guesstimating it at about five minutes. Right, so we've done two and a half minutes, one minute, now this is the fourth minute. Yeah. So, before so. And But you don't want to over, you don't want to push it, so you cut back, you know, after your initial time with the microwave, you ease off on the time a little bit every time. Why? Because you can push it too far. In 30 seconds, you can make it go over. Oh. And they say, well, you can't burn something in a microwave. Oh, yes, you can. Mm -hmm. you can. I've done it. You can burn in a microwave. You can also um, brown in a microwave. They say, well, you can't brown in a microwave. Oh, yes, you can. You cake yeah. or something. A pie looked like it's brown. You put uh, uh, crystallized sugar, you know, the refined the stuff over the top, and those will brown because they slightly burn, and it makes it look, they turn brown the process, so it looks like you browned it. Mm -hmm. And you also can... Um, uh, you know, like sprinkle some uh, like cinnamon or something on the top of bread. Another thing, now we keep trying again. See how this looks. Ooh, the center's puffy. Okay, put just slightly touch the center. It's awfully warm. Ooh, it's firm. Okay, let's give it 30 seconds more then. My guesstimate was five minutes, and this will be four and a half, which that's so pretty. So now this will make it five because the first time we did it for two and a half. Okay, then it will be five. Then It'll I did five. it. Then five total, five. So that was a really good guess then. Mm -hmm. So next, the next thing to do will be to get it out and to put a, to put a, a, toothpick. a toothpick in the center. It's the same as if you were cooking it in an oven, except we're talking, this took... Um, Five minutes here, and it's a half. It, it, okay, we will not have a half hour into this whole thing when okay. we that's prep time and all that stuff. So, well, we could put a toothpick in there, but there are none that exist. Oh, yeah, they're in the, they're in the plastic container sitting up there somewhere. No, they're missing. No, somebody hid the plastic container, it's some up there. I know, but I really need the toothpick. And hit them. Okay, here's what happens is everybody hides everything in this kitchen. So, but now we just get a toothpick out, we get the thing out, put it in the, on the table in front of us, which actually, we, you know, we should have had the cutting board, but we didn't. Well, because, no, we weren't, we didn't know we were going to do this today. There's the problem, because we have been wrapped up in doing other work for the last two weeks. Ooh, now, now just check the, the center and see if it comes out. It's a little liquidy. Then no, you can just do the sides and see what the sides are like. Go on the other side. Um, oh, sides are perfect. Okay. And, okay, there's not, okay, see if you can jiggle it now. Okay. Yeah, that's sides another are way. perfect. No, it's not jiggling. Okay, it's done, folks. Okay, so it's done. Look at that. It may not be the most gorgeous. No, but it is really pretty if you look at it. Look at the center. Just kind of look, look at the center and you look can at. You always add some whipped cream on it after it cools down a little bit. Yeah, but now it's got a uh, now it has to be allowed to cool before cutting. So we made a we made a we made a cake out of the par, bar recipe pie out of bar recipe. What we just showed you that these are actually supposed to be bars. Yeah. So you could just slice them up like bars. Yeah, but we but you can cut it into little slight more uh, more more pieces. You cut it. It just across. happened to be the shape of yeah. the container. But you yeah. cut it across the center and then just start cutting it into slices instead of it should make instead about instead of pie shape. Yeah, but uh, it's 17, 17 slice sixteen slices. It should come up with that. It's nine inch things, sixteen pieces and nine inch square. So we can figure we can probably just. But look, what we tell people. Cooking in a microwave is really easy if you simply pay attention to how it's being done because we we show you if we screw up you're going to see it. You're going to see it because we have one. We have one. We don't make two. We make one. Which also is another reason why you, you put it, hit it at first and then you back off at the time and you do a little bit more and a little bit more. Because that's always it's a safety margin. We give ourselves because we are not, you know, She's not a professional chef, and I come from the and, restaurant business. But and cooking times do vary according to microwave. And according to the weather outside. We right now have it getting ready to rain outside, so the atmospheric so pressure, pressure will change the way you're doing things. So in a little while, you're going to get to see what this looks like when it's cool. So, But don't put it, so do not put it in a refrigerator to cool. 
Oh, yeah, it'll kind of shock it. Yeah, because, um, you know, it says no attitude, uh, it said no altitude adjustment is not necessary, but we didn't follow the recipe, so. Yeah, if if you cook by what we're doing, you'd better give your wiggle room, folks. Better get what? Better give yourself some wiggle room. Mm. So, mm. five minutes in, in this one, in this situation, was a good figure. Five minutes may be too long or too short, depending upon your microwave and where you're cooking it. So, yeah. it'll be back. So that's in. why, now we cut yep. two and a half minutes and then gradually added more. We shall be back in a few minutes when it's cool. Oh my gosh. As people can see, it did, it did work. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. We took something that can't be used in a microwave and did it. I know. I'm really looking forward to this. So it ends up in bars anyway. <laughs> type bars for, you know. For what? You know, just for, uh, you know, like uh, something white, you know, like hors d'oeuvres or something. Mm -hmm. or, um. oh, these are good. I know. That's how you know you've gotten your crust right because you have to, it doesn't come off easily. It means oh, is that it, what it is? Yeah, well, if it comes off real easy, then it, um, it, it didn't cook right. Oh. Well, because you want it to be a little firm. Yep. Look at that. Look at this. Look at that. Look Ooh. at that. Ooh. Oh, God. Boy, she, you know, hey, folks, she's gonna make somebody a really good catch someday. Ooh. Oh, I, we just want to tell people this isn't being political, but if you're a patriotic American, go to Washington D.C. and demand that they raise everybody else's taxes, but don't raise yours because you don't pay taxes anyway. <laughs> so I know she. Look at that. That is really coming out nice. I know. Nice. The bars over here because they're separating it. I will tell you, okay, I already know this. Is Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Uh, you know, <laughs> see, and you can hold it like a bar. Yeah, it cooked perfect. Mm. 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 I know. <laughs> we really get excited when we do something that can't be done. This makes the second thing today we did that you cannot do. Okay. Pumpkin spice bars. Yeah, folks. We'd have told you what company this came from, but since they mm -hmm. they would sue you if you, you know, they they you know they don't want because we use the we use the pot as not intended. That's right. They tell you do not cook in a microwave. Well, this is really we good. do. Mm. So mm. she likes it. Mm. And how many did we end up with all together? Mm. One, two, three, four. Five. Ooh, that's better than what they said. So we did better than if we'd have put it in a nine inch square mm. pan. These are good. <laughs> we got you more money. I'll tell you. Okay, we can tell you that with the eggs and the uh, this extra stuff we bought, this still did not come to the cost of what it would cost to make a pumpkin pie today. Mm. Mm, that was good. Yeah. That was really good. Pumpkin pie bars. Bon appetit. Enjoy. Because I know I will. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>